Sing on the world. What the? Yo, what is up, team? With you is John Walt in today. Take guys back in again with another video, guys. Video, guys. Yet another video, guys. It is Scripture Sunday. Every Sunday, I read scripture for you. You watch this video, I read scripture from the amazing. Hold up. Hold up, I know it's a little introduction. Now you guys have been waiting for it. But the amazing word of God. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have an amazing word of God. And I break it down so you can help your life, your day, your week, whatever. Hope it helps your life. Hope it impacts you a little bit. Helps to give you a little boost. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright. So guys, before I get into the video, I want to ask you a couple questions. Actually, we're going to play a game. And, you know, we're going to play a little game, so, you know, before, let's go ahead and get into the game. It's going to be called, What is This Game? And I'm your host, J Triple C. And welcome to the game. Hope you enjoyed. And, yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get right to it. So, the first question I want to ask you is, what is this right here? What, 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 what is this? What is this? All right, you got it? Go ahead and write your answer down in the comments or on a piece of paper. Next one. What is this? You know what that is? You want to write your comment, your answer down? What is this? Mm, 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 what is that? And then, what is this bad boy right here? What is that? All right, that's gonna conclude our game show for today. Thank you for tuning in. No, I'm just kidding. But guys, so. You saw that, right? You saw that they all had something in common, right? They all had something, and if you didn't know, they're fruits, right? They're fruits, and the first one was an apple, second one was an orange, third one was a lemon, and the fourth one was a banana, right? They're all fruits, right? But that brings me to my scripture for today. So my scripture is coming from Luke 6, 44 and 45, and it says, this is actually Jesus speaking, and he says, For each tree is known by its fruit. For figs are not gathered by thorn bushes, nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush. 45. The good person out of the good treasure, the, per, the good person out of the good treasure of his heart produces good, and the evil person out of his evil treasure produces evil. For out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks. Alright, now it's time for me to break it down. So guys, when I asked you what the thing was, when I showed you guys the type of tree, whatever the fruit I showed you, notice how you said apple, right? If it was the apple, you said apple. If it was the lemon, you said lemon. If it was the orange, you said orange, right? You never, notice how you didn't say uh, when you were looking at the apple, oh, that's an orange, for sure, that's an orange. Yep, for sure, that's an orange. I appeal it and everything. No, you automatically thought of an apple. Why? Why did you think of an apple? Because it bears, that tree bears the fruit. Apple. A tree is known by its fruit. And that's what Jesus is saying in this verse. That's what Jesus is saying um, in verse 44. For each tree is known by its own fruit. For figs are not gathered by thorn bushes, nor are grapes picked from the bramble bush. And you may say, what does this mean, y'all? Jesus is talking about fruit. He's always using these analogies. What does this mean, bro? What does this mean? Well, guess what? He says it in the next verse, verse 45. He says, the good person out of the good treasure of his heart produces good. And the evil person out of this evil treasure produces evil. So guys, notice when you may see your friend, right? You may see your friend or anybody. Think about at school. You may be, you may be my age, you may be grown, but anybody. Or if you're grown, you may be at work or anybody you know, right? Whenever you think about them, whenever you see them, you automatically think of the actions they do. You automatically think of what they've done, what they've said, or what they have put to action, right? If someone at your school is known as the bad kid, you know, the bad kid, the class clown, uh, even the good kid, you automatically think of what they've done, right? They have that thing. If they're good, if they're bad, if they're the class, class clown, you automatically think, you automatically recognize them as bad, as good, as a class clown. Why? Why do they do that? It's because it's the fruit that they're bearing. So guys, think about football. You may not know right now, but it's the start of the playoffs. It's the uh, playoff bracket, getting to know who's going to the Super Bowl and things like that. It's a playoff, right? Well, if you know football like I do, you know the Green Bay Packers. They're like 13-4, and four, right? They're 13-4. and four. Well, they're 13-4, and four, and people recognize them as a good team. Why? Because of the fruit that they're bearing. 
the success and the wins that they're getting. Think about the Cowboys. My team, the Cowboys, that are playing today. Let's go, Cowboys. The Cowboys are playing today. We're known as a good team or a threat because of the fruit that we're bearing. The plays, the touchdowns, the yards, all that stuff. We're known as a threat because of the fruit that we're bearing. You automatically know. When you think about the Cowboys, when you think about the Green Bay Packers, when you think about the uh, Arizona Cardinals or the Rams, you automatically think uh, that they're a good team because of the fruit that they're bearing. When you think of apple juice, you automatically think of an apple. When you think about an apple, you may think about apple juice. When you think about you may think about um, apple sauce or apple cider. It's an automatic thing. Whenever you see a person you've known, you see the action they produce. And my question for you today, your, my question for you today, we talk about other people's fruit, but my question for you today is, what are you producing? What are you producing? What is your tree known for? What are you known for? And I'm not talking about as in reputation or what you're like you're what you're supposed to do, but I'm talking about what are you producing. And guess what? The Bible has something to say about this. The Bible always got something to say about this. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. It says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, for um, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control and self-control as Galatians 5 22 and 23 and so these are the fruits that we should be bearing as Christians we should produce the fruit of faith the fruit of joy the fruit of peace the fruit of uh, um, faithfulness all those things as Christians we should be producing that and one thing I want to show uh, tell you guys is that it's shown and produced it's shown and produced and what I mean by this what I mean by it's shown and produced is notice how think about an orange tree right think about orange tree notice how an orange tree doesn't talk it doesn't talk about um, it doesn't, it never says, what's up guys, it's your boy Orange Tree today, you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean, what's up y'all, um, you already know who I am, you know, I'm Orange Tree, you know, uh, you know, you see me y'all, you know what I do, you know, I don't have to explain myself, I'm gonna explain myself, you know, I, I, I produce oranges, you know what I'm saying, uh, I do a lot of this stuff, you know, I know you only see one orange tree, but you know, that's what I do, you know, I, 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 I love to produce Yo, oranges, you bro, know, uh, wait, huh, bro, your name is Orange Tree, but you never produce any oranges, Dude, you just talk all day about how you produce fruit. Like, what's up with that, dude? <laughs> uh... Well, guess what? An orange tree doesn't, it doesn't talk. It just produces its fruit. Every day it's working to produce those wonderful, juicy oranges. Every day it just does it. It doesn't talk. So, what does that mean? We as Christians, we as Christians shouldn't just talk all day, every day about how we're Christians. Oh, I'm joyful, I'm peaceful, I'm faithful. I'm kind, all that stuff, we should show it. We should show it in our actions. You know, we don't talk about it all day about our questions. We should show it. That's being a witness. The best way of witnessing is not all just talking, but it's actually representing Christ, representing the fruit of the Spirit. Let's go. And guys, what does fruit do? What does fruit do? What do we do? We eat fruit, right? We eat fruit. It gives strength. Whenever you eat fruit, it has vitamins and things like that. It gives you strength. And whether you realize it or not, when farmers pick off their fruit, they examine them, and that fruit may be bad. It may be not good. And if somebody ate a rotten apple or not a good banana, well, guess what? They may feel sick. They may feel not not going to feel well, right? Well, guess what? The fruit influences whatever eats it. The fruit influences whatever grabs it. So just like that, our fruit that we produce as Christians, we influence the people around us. And as we produce the fruit, as us Christians, as we produce the fruit, the people around us to see and pick from our tree. And what does scripture say? Another scripture. It says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good, y'all. Oh my gosh, y'all, let's go. So whatever you do, produce the fruit. All the fruit is the Spirit. Guys, Galatians 22 and 23. And let people pick from it. Let people get strengthened. Witness to one another and share the gospel, y'all. Let's go! So yeah, guys, let's go around today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hope that you would give this video a like. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe. Turn the post notifications down below. And also comment when you're done and subscribe. So, whoa, please don't. Don't. Don't record that. Let's pretend like it didn't happen. All right, y'all. So, uh, comment down below so I can give you a shout-out, you know, because I appreciate the support. Thank you guys for all the love and support on the road to 400. A video, feel free to go check out my website, gilesbooks.com. Stay positive, stay happy, and remember, never give up. I'll see y'all next time. Peace!